Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Chrissy. Uh, today we're painting a little uh, ocean scene here with some rays. I just wanted to show you how you can put some light rays into your artwork. So this is an excellent study I've created for you. So I'm just putting a nice dark blue onto the white canvas as you can see here. I'm just using a flat brush. I'm going to put it at the top and at the bottom. If you can see that little pencil mark I've put in. So I'll be doing the same at the top as I am at the bottom. I hope you enjoy this and get some value out of this video. Uh, it was really great to do this for you guys and I hope it does help you out into your artwork journey. So I'm just smoothing it all out. Make sure there's no high spots, which I mean by high spots, there's no bumpy bits of paint or lumpy bits. I want a nice smooth transition. So that's what I'm looking for today. Using a nice uh, one inch synthetic flat brush, but any brush you're comfortable with, just something that's not too scratchy. So you want something quite smooth so you can get a nice blend. I'm just covering the remains of the canvas here with the dark blue. Then I dry that off and let that dry. I just add a little white there just to put some little water reflections in. But nothing over the top. So I've let that dry. I'm coming back in with the same colour again just to deepen some values. So when you put another layer on, obviously it will darken because you've got uh, the colour underneath as well. These are just like the shadows that appear in the water naturally. It's quite like a dark evening scene. It's not a bright daylight painting. I did it this way on purpose. So you'll actually see in the videos, it moves on uh, the actual rays that we're going to put into the painting. And I thought this will be visually easier for you to grasp actually what I'm doing. The same principle, another layer there, just a nice soft blend. So I'm just darkening the edges there on the top part of the painting and bringing a little bit in there but I'm not giving it a heavy application like I did at the top corners leaving it quite light at the horizon line I'm just smoothing out again just adding a bit more white I'm just putting a bit more light into there just a few light reflections it's just hitting the tops of the water. And if you enjoy ocean paintings, I have a few on my channel if you want to look through. Or check out my playlist. I'm sure there's plenty of things in there that might take your interest as well. So we've got a dry brush. I've got the blue and the white. So I've just mixed some titanium white into the blue. So we've got a nice soft blue colour. So it's not pure white. I'm just fanning in some fleeting clouds. That actually looks like an angel there. <laughs> Happy days. Didn't mean for that, but there you go. It does, doesn't it? Um, some fleeting clouds. Just nice, something really soft. I don't want any a heavy application. I just want a nice, soft look. Yes, it does look like an angel. I can see it now. That's really cool. You could actually leave that in and uh, make that a feature of your painting as well. Still using that off blue. I'm adding that into the water as well. Just some uh, subtle reflections that are coming from the sky. I've actually added a feature of it now because I, I realised it was an angel. But you won't see much of this anyway because we'll be covering it up, most of it, with the actual rays, which is what the painting's about today. But she does look nice there, I must admit. I'm just putting some more dark values in, just to darken the bottom up as well, just to bring the painting in to the actual focal point, which will be the light rays when we get further on. Give it a nice soft blend, make sure there's no high ridges. It's all blended in nicely. So dry that off completely. 
So what I've got now is a stiff bristle brush, which is a hog bristle brush. And I'm using some what you call mixing white. It's a thin transparent white. And I'm using that application very lightly. I'm using my ruler here, as you can see, just to get some straighter ones in for a guide. Now, there's very little paint on this brush. So bear that in mind. Don't go in with a big blob of paint. You just want a tiny little bit. So make sure you wipe most of it off and your brush is only just covered slightly. So you've got a mixing white. So you can use a craft paint as well because that's not very strong. But don't use a titanium white because that's pretty opaque and it won't give the transparency as what we're looking for in this painting. You can see I'm fairly scrubbing. You can scrub fairly hard because I haven't got much paint on, so you can really lay it down. You don't need a delicate hand for this. So the harder you push, obviously the th thicker the line will be. So that's why I'm just using the ruler as a guide so you don't go off lines. You know, you don't get your lines wonky, so you've got something to press your brush against. And this technique can come into... Oh, abundance of your artwork into floral paintings, landscapes, seascapes, any any type of artwork. If you just want that light rays to be a, a part of your painting, that like coming through a window or reflecting around a corner of a building. So I thought this was a great little study just to show you all how I do it, and uh, this might help you out into your artwork journey. And I appreciate everybody that comments on my channel and gives me a thumbs up. I do appreciate that very much. And I thank you all for that as well. So at the top, I'm just going in with another layer. Still a uh, very little paint on my brush. I'm just lightening up the tops that's actually nearest to the light source. So we can't actually see the moon, the sun or whatever the reflections are. Because this could be anything you wanted it to be but it would be stronger to the actual source. And the more the, the light rays come out, the lesser they are, the more transparent they'll be. And do some different lengths like I've done here. I've done some long ones and some shorter ones, thicker ones, fatter ones. That'll give it the more of a natural organic feel that you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I really enjoyed painting this for you, and I hope you get some value out of this video. On screen now are two videos you may like to watch, and if you're not already subscribed, click on my face, and be sure to click the icon bell to get a notification. As always, thanks for watching, and create something wonderful. See you all soon on my next video.